Hey everybody, welcome to Yellow Dog Farm. Today we're going to continue putting these stalls together. You know, it's crazy. You look at the Miss Pepper there, and she's hiding in the shade because it's going to be over 90 degrees today. But the tree that she's hiding under is already starting to see change in the color of the leaves. So the weather here in uh, South Carolina is just a little bit haywire. In fact, I'll pan over here, and you can see the other ones doing the same thing. They're getting in the shadow cast by that tree there so it's going to be a hot one but we'll go ahead and get started on uh, on the barn itself here's a quick progress shot of one of the stalls that's just nearly done it's what we started with it's got uh, Triton calls these vents and of course we got the side wall all the way done we got the front boards and this vent up and then also the door rail that allows it to slide back and forth. So that part of it's all done. The main piece that we really have left to do on this one is to get the boards up in the door and get the vent on. Uh, but the really challenging thing in all these stalls is getting these headers up there. 12 foot long boards and they're just really a bit tough to wrangle all by yourself. So Miss Diane's going to come over and we're going to put headers up on the stalls today and then I'll be able to go ahead and complete the rest of the process by myself. So we'll go find Diane and get started.
instructions call for you to lay out these header brackets in different locations. It gives loca um, height and then it gives you a distance from each header bracket. And uh, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. So what we've been doing is locating these brackets up on the rail and then attaching marking and attaching the two brackets at the right height, which is 87 and a half inches from the ground. And then using this as a jig to go ahead and attach the brackets. And I'll pop the camera up there so you can see what those header brackets look like. But we just loose attach, get it up there, and then firm everything up. So I'll put the camera up there so you can see it. There you can see how that bracket nestles. And there's four of them. Just like that. And I'll show you how Diane's attaching them to the rail. So she's just putting them up in the slots ahead of time. And then we'll go ahead and uh, mark them once we get the rail up there. Just a lot easier and uh, it's a one-shot deal. You don't have to sit there and hope you got all your measurements right when you did it.